Hi guys, watch me take this coffee area from this to this in a matter of minutes. So I've had this Keurig and this coffee kind of decor for about three years and I've been over it. I've been over this color and I'm just ready to like, you know, just redo the area. So I got rid of the old stuff, just giving the Keurig away because it's still in good condition. And I just brought in another Keurig. So this is my third one. I definitely would recommend Keurig if you're somebody who likes coffee. The one I had before, the teal one was red and that one lasted me for quite a f I feel like a couple of years for sure so I have had good quality experience with Keurig and I'm able to just quickly make coffee so this Keurig is the barista bar I wanted to try this one because it comes with a milk frother and then also this one I like that I'm able to brew over ice I like that the milk frother comes with different heat settings so that you can either make cold foam or if you want to make a latte you have the heat function and with this new age of coffee makers of course you know that you can just pop your pot up there and go ahead and make what you want so i went ahead and cleansed and just filled up my water reservoir At first, I was a little apprehensive about switching to a slimmer Keurig because I didn't know how much water it could hold. But once I got this Keurig, I got to see that it's not that bad. I feel like the amount of water that it can hold is about the same as the one I had before. All right, now we can jump into the decor part. So I found this K-Pod cup holder on Amazon and I like that it had the glass top it was black and I love the drawer that's specifically what I was looking for so I picked this one up and then I went to Aldi and got my k-cups they have so many options I feel like so I got some hot cocoa different types of coffee I got a cappuccino one and they're so affordable Okay, now let's jump into these jars that I found that hold the syrups. They are so sturdy. I also got these off of Amazon. The glass is pretty thick and I like the pumps that they come with. I also love the labels that it came with. One of the reasons I chose these jars was actually because the labels had a lot of options and ended up turning out to be that these jars are really good quality they also came with a funnel so that you can easily pour your syrups in there so that was a plus Now it was time to store the sugar crystals that um, I use. So if you're wondering why I have so many different types of sugar, I like to make different types of things. Like one day I'll do iced coffee. Uh, one day I may want to do a frappuccino, but during the week I try to stick to more, I guess, healthier forms of sugar. So I really like the coconut sugar for during the week. And then the weekends is when I kind of like try to make my different types of coffee drinks. These containers I got from Marshalls. It actually came in a three pack and it was, I believe, less than $10. So let's go ahead and jump into the decor. I found these cute blocks from Hobby Lobby. So I started just picking up stuff that matched and who would have known that all the decor I got from Hobby Lobby would have been $10. So this was also another thing I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I was like, this matches pretty well. And then this last block, I thought that it was cute. So I decided to just place it on the back part of the Keurig. That's it guys. Making this coffee bar, I felt like was pretty inexpensive and it didn't take up much time. And I definitely believe I'll have a good return on investment in making my own coffees. I hope this helped you and gave you some creative ideas. Thanks for watching. Bye.